On the Ground, presented by The Cube. Here's your host, John Furrier. Okay, hello everyone. We are on the ground in Seattle for IBM's Open Computing Architecture Summit. The future's so bright, we got to wear shades. I'm John Furrier, the host of theCUBE, with Jesse Proudman, CEO of Blue Box now. I don't know what your title is at IBM. Uh, IBM Distinguished Engineer and CTO of the IBM Blue Box product. Okay, when you get acquired by IBM, they give you a big, long ass title. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so the update on Blue Box. Obviously, the integration's done. You guys are yep. embedded in. You got some more headcount budget. We are. You're fully funded. Yes. What's new? I mean, obviously, Docker Madness, um, really talking about applications. What's yeah, so, under the hood? you know, I think it's been, for us, it's been a year of, of integration. I mean, that's been the entire year. The team has tripled. Uh, we, we've really done an incredible job integrating the technology into the broader IBM community. So now the Blue Box platform is underpinning a bunch of other IBM offerings, which is pretty neat. Um, IBM itself, for example, uses GitHub Enterprise, and that offering for all of IBM runs on top of a Blue Box installation. Uh, so it's been really a question of how do we build this layer cake that we've been talking about for the last year with, with Blue Box at the foundation. You feel excited now, you got the backing of IBM, sales, engineering, What's the new technology that you guys are bringing into the blue box that you're taking from IBM? Must be some new stuff you're integrating in. What's the coolest thing you got going on? Yeah, it's a great question. So I think that the, this notion of public, dedicated, and local, where we've got three consumption methodologies and three different geographies, or, or wherever you want to put them, um, but delivered all as a service has really been, uh, it was a, the reason we, we were interested in IBM, and it's been the reason we've been excited about IBM over this last year, and so now, the question is, how do we bring the rest of those IBM pieces on top of our stack? And so we've got container services coming, we've got logging and metrics coming, we've got a bunch of other, it's the service catalog that supplements what's in OpenStack uh, is, is uh, the next big push for us. And what is this Open Cloud Architecture Summit all about? Share with the audience, what's this event here? It's obviously bolted on the day after DockerCon, so application containers and container management's kicking ass, big rage there, a lot of, a lot of interest. What's this event, event yeah, about? Yeah, it's a great question. So if you look at the cloud ecosystem, all of the big vendors out there are building proprietary sets of technology. And at IBM, we really believe that the, the infrastructure and, and the actual code that underpins everything that we're doing should be open. And by making that open, customers have the ability to choose, do I want to work with IBM because I'm getting value from the service or do I want to try to do things on my own? And so this day is really about sharing the, the technology, the pieces that we're using, and how we're using them so that customers can make a decision about where they want to pick those pieces into their infrastructure. What's your take on Docker, Colin? We just were there live with theCUBE. I want to get your thoughts. We didn't have a chance to bring you on theCUBE because you've been, we were busy, full, everyone thing was full. I was out of town. You were out of town. I was out of town for DockerCon. What's, what's your take on this whole ecosystem? You know, I think Docker is one of the most phenomenal stories in, in this space, in the infrastructure space over the last couple years. If you look at sort of the, the pivot they made from the platform as a service into actual Docker, and then the, the rise of popularity in the technology, it's, it's an incredible story. Um, the challenge everybody's experiencing right now is going from using a single container in development to thinking about how we deploy and manage a lot of this infrastructure at scale. And there's big companies like Google that have these things figured out, and then there's everybody else that's trying to figure out all the additional pieces. So how do we monitor the containers? How do we ensure they're being restarted? How do we collect logs? How do we do governance? All those pieces that sort of have been figured out for VMs over the last uh, couple years now need to be figured out for containers. And there's a lot of work to do there. And that's where you're seeing all this investment into new companies in the ecosystem uh, occur. What about OpenStack? What's your take on the current state of OpenStack? Yeah, you know, OpenStack is, is super boring now, which I think is actually a great thing. So this is my commentary from the, this last summit in, in Austin. Uh, there was no controversy. There was it was just everybody was was uh, was there, and the customers were there, and we were all fine with it. And I think that's a, it's a good place to be after six years. So uh, maturing, right? Maturing, not in a bad way. Boring, right? No, but it's, good it's a great boring. Um, it's it's works, right? There's nothing to argue about anymore um, to, to a large extent. And so now it's the question of continuing to push for stability, continuing to push for uh, performance. All the key pieces that if you're going to use a set of technology as the foundation for something, need to continue to be there. Uh, but but yeah, I think all the, sort of all the excitement and the drama is now up, up the stack in, in other portions. Final question, what are you guys going to be doing over the next year? What are the new things on the horizon that you could share? Yeah, it's a great question. We, we've got uh, a new product that's in works, we can't talk about it yet, um, but it is a, a variant on the technology that we've been uh, we've written over the last couple of years and uh, we think customers will really dig it. Jesse, thanks for taking the time. We're here on the ground, this is theCUBE, here in Seattle for the IBM Open Computing Architecture Summit. 
day after DockerCon. This is theCUBE on the ground. Thanks for watching.